I'm on my way to day one of the Allergy Free From show in London. I was going to do a proper vlog intro, but I've just been so busy. As you guys know, I'm going to be working there doing their social media and, and I've also got three cooking demonstrations. So a lot to plan for. This is my bag of hopefully all the ingredients I need, but I guess we'll find out. If you're outside of London, the new Elizabeth line has just opened and it's going to take me straight to the Excel Centre. So feeling very lucky, I don't have to get up too early. I'm gonna vlog as much of this weekend as I possibly can. And then like always, I'm gonna end with showing you whatever snacks I buy because I've already seen some of my favorite brands are there and usually I have to buy them online. So I'm just gonna stock up on some things. I'm kind of running a little bit late. I left the house without a jacket, had to run back because even though it's summer, it's still the UK. So <laughs> better safe than sorry. So I'm going to start lightly jogging towards Whitechapel and I'll see you when I see you. <laughs> I'm here. We're just about to open up. Um, I've got this microphone. Unfortunately not working with my phone, but that's okay. Uh, it's about 10 minutes until people start coming in, so I'm sort of just making myself aware of my surroundings. I'm in the V part of the show at the moment. The green part is the allergy free from show. Head over there to find some treats for myself, but... Yeah, a little bit of stress, a little bit of stress, but feeling excited, feeling, looking forward to meeting some people, eating some food, interviewing people with this sick microphone. <laughs> that's not working for my phone. It's not the microphone, it's actually my phone that's just a bit old and a bit crap. So, whoa, I've moved into the green. But yeah, okay. I think that's all I've got time for at the moment. I'll see you soon. Bit of a halfway day check-in. I have got myself a coffee because Boy, this takes a lot of energy, surprisingly. What am I gonna do now? My first cooking demonstration is coming up at 3 p.m. I think it's nearly 1 p.m. now, so I've got plenty of time. I just need to walk around, probably find myself some lunch, probably have that lunch be churros, because I can, and <laughs> then keep up posting on social media. <laughs> See you soon. Hey, I'm back. This time with churros from Wildcraft Bakery. This is my lunch, okay? Don't judge me. This is what I'm eating for lunch. God, they smell good. They're both gluten-free and dairy-free. Can you believe it? I need to find somewhere to sit. I was supposed to do a bit of an update last night, but oh my gosh, I got home and I just crashed. I was so tired, but I'm just about to head off to Saturday, to Saturday, that doesn't make sense, to day two of the Allergy Free From Show and Just Be Show. And it's a bit exciting today because there's the bloggers meet up. So hopefully I'll see some friends and meet some cool people. Um, but otherwise, yeah, just gotta get, get back out there and make some more content. Got a little bit more makeup on today because those are, those, those exhibition lights are, are pretty harsh. I'll see you soon. It's about lunchtime and I'm just taking a wee break. I went and got some more lunch today from Wildcraft Bakery, but I'm not going with the churros. I got a cheese scone and a donut. <laughs> So let's give them a go. Look at this donut. That's massive. Oh yeah. That's gonna give me some life. Probably should have had the cheese scone before the donut. Here's my little cheese scone. Scones in this country make me laugh. They're very round. They're not like like the New Zealand ones. Here are my second cooking demo. The dumplings, which hopefully will go a little bit better than yesterday's, where I only managed to make four. Today I'm aiming for seven. <laughs> Small dreams, but it is what it is. The blogger meetup was also really good. Um, saw a lot of cool people there and got some very cool products. And I'm not going to show you any products until the end of this video because I really want to just talk through them. Oh. Mm. It's good. Should probably heat this up to be honest. <laughs> See you soon. <laughs>
sorry about that. Hopefully I can at least show you some cool clips of what I saw today. But oh jeez, oh my god, look at my eyes. I'm knackered. I'm gonna go have a shower. Then I might talk to you after, it might be tomorrow, but you know, peace and love, peace and love. So it's Thursday. <laughs> been four days since the allergy free from show but I'm finally just finding myself with some time to sit down and chat about it and show you the four bags of gluten-free goodies that I got while I was there but first wow let me quickly talk about what the allergy free from show was like for me it was a whirlwind it was insane it was way busier for me than I thought it was gonna be I knew it was gonna be busy but I didn't expect it to be like thing after thing after thing. One of the things I actually found quite difficult was doing a cooking demonstration each day as well because that took up like a good two hours of my time and brain space. And I mean brain space because I'm not thinking about what I have to film, thinking about what I need to do on the social media. I'm thinking about my cooking demonstration, what I need to do for that. So that was also another challenge, but it was fun. I love doing cooking demonstrations and the Sunday went reasonably well. I had a lot more gluten-free people watching on the Sunday, which was nice, for Friday and Saturday, I think I only had about four or five. Um, so they didn't really get my jokes. Like, what did the doctor say to the celiac patient? Get some bread rest. <laughs> Look, no one would have laughed at that anyway. Basically, I wanted to be able to make my reels after each day, but I got home so late and then I had to prepare for the next day that there was just no time for me to sit down and edit. So that's what I've been doing this week up until this point is I've been editing all of my reels and posting them on the Allergy Free From page, as well as being back at work. So it's just been, it's been hectic. Today's my first day off in 15 days. <laughs> Can you tell by the bags under my eyes? But I'm not complaining at all. I'm actually really grateful to be busy doing things that I love to do. And that's probably the first time in my life that I've actually able to say that. So just really grateful. I also met some amazing people. I also met some awesome people as well. And I'll talk about some of them when I go through like all of the stuff that I got. Because a lot of them were like the owners of these companies. But aside from that, also meeting tons of wonderful gluten-free bloggers that I like have seen on Instagram but never met in real life. There was the Good It's Gluten Free blogger meetup on Saturday morning, so that was really fun. I got to see Laura, my gluten-free guide again, which was nice. I saw her last time in Bristol and she was really lovely. I got to meet Christian, the celiac dietitian, which was awesome because I've been following him stuff since basically day one. Got to meet Becky finally after like following her for years. I very briefly met Christine Bailey. Oh my god, I got to meet Megan McKenna. <laughs> Which was truly one of the funniest things. If you haven't seen this channel before or you've not watched GFN, Megan McKenna has popped up like in the last three GFNs. For the first couple of times, I think it was because she was getting online trolls, like um, saying about her body changing or people think she looks pregnant, but she's got IBS and celiac disease, which she didn't talk about. But the last time I talked about her, I think, May's GFN, was that she put out a book and I did a, a review on it and... <laughs> It wasn't the best review, I'll be honest. So it was quite funny to me that I actually introduced her to talk about her book in the Allergy Free From Show chat theatre. <laughs> she was nice in person. I had instructions from her PR lady to introduce her as, ah oh god, what was it? Country music singer, TV celebrity, author, celebrity master chef finalist, Megan McKenna. <laughs> Four things is a lot to remember, so I kind of did it a bit like... <laughs> Next I had the pleasure of introducing... TV celebrity, celebrity master chef finalist, author, country music singer, <laughs> Megan McKenna. But yeah, it was a great time. It was a busy time and that's obviously why I don't have a lot of footage from the show to show you. But let's do the fun thing and show you what I got. Firstly, even though I was working, the Good at Gloom Free people actually let me get one of their, their blogger bags. We got to meet the founder, Andrew, and he was telling his story about how Good It's Gotten Free started and his challenges during the pandemic and how his business has changed to get to where it is today. And he's just recently launched in America and he'd just come back from America before doing this show. So it's just really nice to hear some sort of successful and hopeful um, gluten free business stories that give us some amazing products. So this is the Good It's Gotten Free little blog and bag box thing. <laughs> And inside we've got a recipe kit. In here you've got some stone baked pita breads. You've got the pita meal kit, which I think... What's inside here? Oh, you've got your spices and your sauces. 
And then we also got some Peri Peri Mayo Vegan Gluten Free Dairy Free of course and some hoisin dipping sauce, probably the thing I'm most excited about. I just love hoisin. And there's not many brands that do a gluten-free hoisin. And then we also got this Asian Wok cooking set. Um, comes with black bean, black pepper, sweet and sour katsu, and Thai sweet chili sauces to make some more of the delicious meals. So that's really cool. And may I just say, great color. Okay, we're gonna have to fire through these because there's literally so much. This is all the stuff that I got. Gluten-free and loving it flag from Love Free From Me. I went and bugged them like every day of the show. They had a great dinosaur there. I won, I won this milk, pea milk. <laughs> I got a BB reusable beeswax beeswax wraps that are made with beeswax. I've never had these, but this one's got cute little puffins on it. Then Glue Farm, a gluten-free oat milk brand that I absolutely love. I also ended up getting some to try at work, the barista edition, but this is just the, the classic. Jeff oat milk. In the weekend they had a coffee machine that was actually run by pedal power. It was on a bike and the man was pedaling to make energy for like foaming the milk or grinding the beans or extracting the coffee. It was fantastic. It made a really great flat white. This one, don't recommend. I went and asked if it was gluten free. They said yes. To be fair, my fault, my fault. I didn't read the back of the packaging. It's a may contain gluten. Um, this is just bacon flavoured nutritional yeast. I thought, oh, this will be useful, but um, I did not read it properly. Then everyone at the Allergy Free From Show gets like a little goodie bag. There wasn't too many things in there, but this was one of them, a non-alcoholic G&T. Got some perfume and some heel balm. I think there was a few other things, but I don't know where those ones were. Then I bought some Christmas tea for my mum who's coming over. She was watching one of the lives I did for the Just The Be Show and she's like, can you buy me that Christmas tree? Tea, <laughs> Christmas tree. Then I just got handed this chocolate mighty shake from the same brand as the pea milk. Right, love these. Found these in a Love Free From box the first time. Um, bought all of the rest of their flavours. I think I tried the black pepper, but I also got the salt and vinegar, the salted and the sweet chilli. They're great. They're like little puff rice crackers. Such a good snack. Like, packed with flavour. Remind me of something from my childhood. These are great. I think we also got Dettol in the like, show bag. And this mango energy, natural energy drink. Then I went to the Vegetarian Society and they gave me a bunch of random stuff that was like, Vegetarian Society approved. And then I got this water. And they also gave me some brain and heart omega-3 fatty acid to support brain, eye and heart health capsules. Then one of my absolute favourites of the show, crazy bastard sauces are literally my favourite hot sauces. I got one of the ones that I love. Actually I was given this one very kindly. This is the chipotle and pineapple flavour. I tried their hottest, hottest, hottest sauce. It's the Carolina Reefer sauce. Probably. Yep. Okay. Oh, gentle sting at the back of the throat. So gentle. Yeah. <laughs> it's getting worse. <laughs> yeah, it was spicy. My 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 mouth after the pain went away was like numb for a good ten minutes. Oh yes, this is one I really want to talk to you about. Okay, so you've heard me rave about these in the most recent Love Free From box or one before. These are the Grisco Grissini bites. I've already made my way through most of this packet. Now, the man that runs this also runs My Sweet Chickpea, and I didn't realise that, but now, like, looking at the packaging, like, of course. He very kindly gave me these three packs to try out, and let me tell you, there is nothing I'm enjoying more than these at the moment for, like, a, like a sweet and savoury snack. They're gluten-free, vegan-friendly, and they're basically, if you're missing something like Pocky, or if you're missing those weird little mushroom chocolate things, I don't know what they're called, but I'll pop a photo up here. If you're missing these, this gives you that same satisfaction, but they're even better, and they've got more flavours to them. I've got a zingy orange and dark chocolate. This is my, my personal favourite so far, is the peanut butter and chocolate. And then this one's really good, cappuccino chocolate one. And then he also gave me some peanut butter flavoured my sweet chickpeas. So the Grisco is actually a really super new brand. So you can't find these in stores yet. You can only order them online. Hopefully we will see them in stores because I'm pretty sure you can find these my sweet chickpeas at least in Sainsbury's. So I'm looking forward to a future where I can get these so easily. And if I ever <laughs> move back to New Zealand, I'll have a suitcase full of these. I won some brioche genius gut love and rolls. I got some Simply chippy things. I bought two loaves of bread from Juvella and some of their white rolls. I've only got one loaf to show you at the moment because the other two are in the freezer. I don't want to get them out. End of the day, bargain! Got myself some Lexi's treats for only like five pounds. These are the crispy treats. They also gave me a chalky orange one as well, but 
So good. I've literally got my snacks sorted for like the next two months. This is fantastic. I bought myself some Liberate Crumpets. Now here's something I learned while I was at the show. Liberate, an Australian brand, love that. But the crumpets themselves are actually made in New Zealand. Yeah. And also it's like a family run business and they're just like the nicest people. They had a little stool, a disco ball, loved it. Oh, the Vegetarian Society also gave me some ginkgo biloba. If anyone knows what that means, please let me know. I'm not sure where this came from, but it's Detoxify Hair Oil for oily, itchy scalp and hair. I love with the skincare sponsors of the show and they were giving out these huge little moisturizers worth literally like 30 pounds or something. Also, the loveliest people, they're an Irish brand and they were just all so nice. And I've been using this and I feel very moisturized. My skin's feeling pretty good. Like, what would you call that if you hadn't heard me say it? The amount of times I went, I'm here with Mark from Alave. <sighs> then I got my favorite Chalky Bar, the Buttermilk people were there as well, which I thought was awesome to see. And I got one of my favorite Caramel Nougat Bars. I got a little sample of Henderson's Relish. <laughs> I basically just wanted the sample because I love the cute bottle and I'm going to reuse it for like many things. And then the last thing, actually this one is from Shan. Shan gave me these ones. Just some sachets of instant coffee, but it's magical instant coffee from London Nootropics. It's actually adaptogenic coffee. So, yeah. <laughs> and that's everything I got. Let me just show you the floor. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot to say, with the Juvella bread that I bought, they also gave me some little, like, little bread, bread clip holder things. Okay, my friends, I think that is all. I hope that some of you managed to get to the Allergy Free From show, and if you did, Tell me what you bought. I feel like I definitely saw people who got way more than I did. Not pictured here is the amount of Wildcraft donuts I ate every day, and churros, and other bags of air snacks that I ate, and all the coffee that I drank. But man, people were hauling some bags home, which is awesome to see. So if you went, tell me if you discovered anything new or what your favorite thing was. And but yeah, hopefully we'll see you at the next one, Birmingham, November, and then the following one, is in Glasgow. So if anyone's going to those ones, I'll probably see you then. If you have any questions about Allergy Free From Show or any links to things where you can buy some of the stuff that I got, just let me know. I'll, I'll send that straight to you. But anyway, apologies for the lack of regular videos. I hope I'm back on my schedule now. It's just been one of those hectic couple of weeks. Um, not a bad thing, but I do need to just relax and watch some Love Island. So I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.